welcome viewers and subscribers of abg news my name is Olisi, the son of nume and i'm here to talk to zimbabweans who are registered to vote and those who are in the diaspora who would want to see change we know that it's less than uh seven days now before zimbabweans go to polls which are harmonized elections where we are expected to vote in a new dispensation of councillors, parliamentarians, uh, and the president. So, I would like to talk to those who are saying that they are already tired uh, of what has been transpiring in the country since 1980. People here who want change, people who want a change of government, and a change of how things are done in our country. Uh, now, what you would first uh, know is that, or the first agreement that we need to make uh, is that this is once again going to be a two-horse race, judging by uh, the rallies that have been held, the number of uh, contestants from each party, where these rallies have been concentrated, the crowds that have been pulled uh, to these rallies, as well as the seriousness that has been shown by candidates going to the election, you can tell that it's between ZANU-PF, which is the ruling party, and the Triple C, led by advocate Nelson, Nelson Chamisa, which is the mainstream opposition. So anyone who wants to see change would agree that right now the only horse which can gallop and deliver us that change is the triple C horse in as far as parliamentary, council and presidential re uh, representation are concerned. So that's why this video is directed at especially those who want to see change. First and foremost, uh, we need to agree that based on the way he has traversed the country, the way he has been holding his rallies, some of them three times a day in different places, three rallies in three different places a day. Advocate Nelson Chamisa has done the best that any politician could have done in especially a country like Zimbabwe where the opposition is always suffocated out of the space. So as he has done his utmost best, what is left now is for those who believe in change, those who believe in a new democratic in a new democratic dispensation to do their best. First and foremost, if you are based in the diaspora and you know that you cannot travel home to vote, you can play a role by giving moral support to those who are going to vote, by giving advice to those who are going to vote, by even contributing whatever you can to make sure that those who need to travel but do not have the means to get to their constituencies where they are registered are able to do that. The best you can do is to send messages again. We have the social media, we have WhatsApp, we have Twitter, we have Facebook, we have a number of podcasts on YouTube that we can use to try and make sure that we assist what Triple C is doing because there are places they cannot reach, but where word can uh, be sent. And these uh, platforms that I've mentioned would come in worthwhile to make sure that this message gets to where it's supposed to get and people vote accordingly, you will admit that we have been in uh, a stagnant state as a country if we have not been going further south since 1980. And now is the time for us to try and achieve the change that we want. And then those who are based in Zimbabwe who are registered to vote, there is a huge role that you need to play. This is not the time for us to be uh, second-guessing the results 
or the ability of the opposition to outpour ZANU PF. This is the time for us to put our faith in the system. We will talk about the rest after we have voted, but for now, let us make sure that if you are somebody who believes in change, if you are somebody who is tired of the situation back home, if you are somebody who is tired of the corruption taking place, if you are tired uh, of the continued suffocation of the democratic space, you know what you need to do. Get up on the 23rd of August. Go sacrifice that little time to cast your ballot and cast it wisely. Not just that. Make sure everybody else that you know, that you are close to, who is registered to vote, who is likely or definitely going to vote for change, is encouraged as, as well. If they cannot afford to pay for their transport to where they should cast their ballot, but you happen to be going in the same direction and you have a car, this is a day you need to sacrifice to ferry them there for free. If you can pay for their transport and you don't have your own car, make sure that you do that. This is a plea from, my, for, from me as a Zimbabwean who's been in the diaspora stuck here for a very long time and somebody who is itching for change. If you have a vehicle and you are a community, you don't lose anything by mobilizing other community members for them to contribute towards your fuel and you ferry people there. This is a make or break election especially for Zimbabweans who are above the age of 30 because another five years without change is going to be very painful. It is going to uh, be more frustrating. It's going to drive people outside the country. We are tired. Some of us who are living, especially in South Africa, are tired of the insults that we are getting. We are tired of the myths that are being propagated against us. We have become the poster uh, boys and girls of everything negative about migration a crime gets committed in south africa the first people that come to mind are illegal immigrants and the next they are zimbabweans every time even without any shred of evidence so this is the time when zimbabweans need to unite towards achieving this change that we so much need so that we gain back our dignity, so that we go back home and start rebuilding our lives. We know there are a number of limitations when it comes to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. There are a number of uh, doubts when it comes to the counting of the ballots. There, is, there are a number of doubts when it comes to the willingness of the security sector to hand over power to a triple C government, but let's give it a try. Let us vote overwhelmingly so that it becomes impossible to rig, so that uh, it becomes a statement of intent by Zimbabweans to change things for themselves, by Zimbabweans to create a new way of life to come up with a new government and create a new fallback position for the future generations let us not think about ourselves only but let us think about the zimbabwe that we want and how we seek to achieve it and then go out there to try and achieve it and the only way we can achieve this is to go out there vote in our large numbers vote those who have shown willingness to bring, to bring about change, to deliver change. Yes, personally, I've got my misgivings about Triple C. Many of you know already about that, but I am saying, let us deal with those after we have made sure that we have dealt with the elephant in the room first, and the elephant in the room right now is ZANU-PF. We have given them 
every chance that has existed in any, any election and every election since 1980. And every time they have paid us back in a similar manner, they've shown us that they are not prepared to change anything. They've even told us that they will not change anything. They've even uh, declared that they will rule till the donkeys grow horns, but that power to take them out lies in us. Let's exercise it. Thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe to this channel, share this video, and like it.